Hello everyone, Rich at Rivera Urban Homestead. Uh, today I'm doing a quick video. I just got home from work, so I only got about 10 minutes before I have to go pick up my little guy. Um, but today I want to do a quick video on lowering the pH in your tap water. Most city tap water runs high on the pH scale. The pH scale, basically a 7 is neutral. Not really acidic, not really alkaline. Lower than 7, you start getting into your acidic state. Higher, more alkaline. So with city tap water, they want it in a more alkaline state because a lot of bacterias and stuff don't like to grow in alkaline states. They want it more acidic. So we need to lower that because microgreens prefer a slightly acidic water. And you're talking 5.5 to 6.5 on the pH scale. Now, I have some water here. I went and bought this pH tester at the uh, pet store. Um, and it just uh, tests the water pH. So, let's do it real quick. This is just tap water we poured, you know, from the, from the sink. This is a pH down. The pH test solution. That's what we want. So, this one's pretty simple. It comes with a little vial with a line there. Fill it up with water. And why is it important to test or to make sure your pH is right for the microgreens? What's the big deal? Why don't I just use this? You can just use that, but your yields are going to be not as, not up to its full potential, let's say. When you have the pH correct, and this even goes out for the, in the garden and stuff with your soil, it, that pH needs to be at a correct area to where the plants can actually utilize the nutrients that's in the soil and stuff. So if the water is too alkaline, the microgreens are going to have a little tough time getting the nutrients they need from the soil. Um, so you definitely want your pH between 5.5 to 6.5 to have the best possible outcome with these microgreens. So anyway, I got my water filled here. Three drops of this test solution they say to put in there. So we'll do that now. One, two, th three. Okay, so we got three drops in of the pH test solution. Then they say just put the cover on and just kind of do this with it. Okay, here's the little guide. The upper yellow is the slightly acidic. It reads to about 6.0. And the blues and the greens are more alkaline. It goes up to 7.4. So let's take a look at the water. Can you guys see that? Let me come over here real quick. So as you see, the water is blue. So as you can see, the water is quite blue. I mean, it's probably in between the 7.2 to 7.6. So now how do we lower this naturally without chemicals and stuff like that? How can we lower our pH? Well, easy solution, guys. So this is one gallon of water. This is it. Some lemon juice. We're going to put one, we'll start with one teaspoon, and this will vary from your region. It just depends on how your water is. So, but to start the test, put in one teaspoon of lemon juice. Just kind of stir it around, let it Let me go rinse this out real quick and then we'll retest the water and see what the pH is like and see if we have to adjust any more. Okay guys, so it's been sitting for not long. You saw it, maybe 30 seconds or something. Let's see if anything new happened here. Let's retest it. Whoops, too much water. There we go, right to the line. 
Do another three drops of the test solution. One, two, three. Let me come over there, we'll take a look. Look at that. No more of the blue tinge, right? Now, we are looking at, man, pretty much perfect. It can maybe go slightly lighter, but that's really good. You're looking right about maybe six. Perfect. Okay, so basically what this tells me is for one gallon of water in my area, my water that comes out of my faucet, I can take one teaspoon of this per gallon and I'm going to pretty much make it almost 6.0 on the pH scale, which is great. Microgreens like it 5.5 to 6.5, so 6.0 is dead on. Um, so now I know if I want to mix up a five gallon bucket of water for indoors, I let it sit for 24 hours to let all the chlorine and stuff disperse, right? But I add five teaspoons, one teaspoon per gallon. So once you do this test initially, that's really all you have to do. You don't have to keep testing your water every time because now you know the formula. So just start out with a teaspoon, test it, see how it works, and just Add another teaspoon if it's still too, too high in the pH and um, find your spot and then you'll have it all the time. That'll be where you need to measure. So anyway, that's just a quick way to lower your pH um, in your water for your microgreens. And that'll let, ensure that they can uproot all of the nutrients they need for that time that they're in that soil. If they have the right pH, they're going to be healthier. So make sure your pH is good. All right, guys, I got to go get the little one. So just a quick uh, adjusting the pH. Next indoor garden episode, we are going to do, actually, we're going to get planting some microgreens. So we will talk to you on the next one, guys. Have a good day.